Hey folks, uh, VM Explorer here, and today we're looking at the Supermicro X11 SPL F uh, system board. It's a 3647 uh, system board, so that's this socket right here. It's also a narrow socket, uh, so when you're buying heat sinks for this, you want to make sure you pick the right type of heat sink to fit on top of this particular mount piece here. Uh, it has those standard kind of posts for the 3647 processors uh, that mount down here. <clears throat> so, uh, not bad. Let's take a look at the back panel first. Starting here, we've got basically your basic serial port, uh, the IPMI port, uh, USB uh, uh, 2.0 and 3.0 on the back side, then uh, two Intel i210 NICs, and then a standard VGA, which plugs into this chip right here, which is at AST2500. This allows for uh, IPMI uh, access to the system and also gives some basic uh, video output. And if you're using a server like a ESXi server or something like that, it's probably more than adequate uh, for it. <clears throat> Uh, looking on the uh, slots, even though it looks like we have two X16 slots here, they're actually uh, an X16 and 8. So basically you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8 slots here. I think one of them is actually rated as a 4X, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that very last one right here uh, is rated as 4X. But all the rest are 8X, so it gives a lot of I.O. Uh, in and out of the board, which is uh, pretty handy. Um, count them. Seven different fan ports. So <laughs> starting over here, one, <laughs> two, and we got three, four, five. And then uh, six on the corner, right there, and uh, seven on this corner over here. Seven fan ports, which is nice. Uh, power supply uses standard ATX uh, 24 pins, and then your 8-pin power for the uh, CPU. Uh, lots of memory space here. You start with the blue ones, and actually then the black ones are last. They explain that in the manual. Uh, they support a bunch of different uh, configurations, including even odd size. So if you had only uh, two over here and three over here, it would support it. Or seven, for example, if you have three on one side and four on the other, it supports it. Not recommended, but kind of interesting. They support those types of configurations. Uh, it does have an NVMe slot, which is nice right here to plug in. And it also supports uh, two SATA DOMs, which are these orange SATA ports and this little power cord right here. So this is if you want to put like a SATA boot device on here, like a, I don't know, a 256 gig or a 64 gig boot device, as an example, you plug in the power right Right here and it all runs right off the system board which makes it kind of lean and mean. Uh, USB ports of course and a USB 3 uh, connector here pretty standard. Uh, also with the system board came a couple of uh, SATA cables and the uh, back uh, slot plate there. So other than that uh, great little system board Looking forward to uh, plugging this into my system. Actually going to be using this one more as a workstation and less of a uh, ESXi server. But we'll be building up and talking about it uh, real soon. Take care. And don't forget to hit subscribe.